I'm Steve Cox. I fly fighters, airliners, and general aviation aircraft. I'm into tech, travel, anything that flies, making friends and videos along the way. Hey everyone, Steve here. I just wanted to make a quick video and show you how to configure the G5. I got my Bonanza back from an avionics upgrade and was kind of surprised to find miles per hour instead of knots indicated. Uh, I didn't have any of the V speeds programmed in and I was worried that it was going to take a service center installation, but it turns out it's a heck of a lot easier uh, than that. So enjoy the video and I hope you get something out of it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find your V speeds. I found mine in the pilot operating handbook and I took some screenshots just to have them handy in the photos app of my iPad. Note you're going to want to take a look at the emergency procedures sections for the emergency speeds, the normal procedures for the normal speeds, and then of course the limitations section for the limiting air speeds. Once you've got all those uh, screenshotted, you can find them in your photos app so that you're not fumbling around for all these speeds once you're configuring your Garmin G5. And here's the V speeds that you're going to need. Feel free to pause here, otherwise I'll leave these in the description below. Now, to get into configuration mode, you have to power the unit off by holding the power button for three seconds. It's always a good idea to leave it off for about five seconds before powering it up in configuration mode. To put it into configuration mode, take two hands and push the power button as well as the control knob at the same time and it'll, you'll see yourself in configuration mode. And then dial down to the speeds and start entering. One thing to note is that you might be in miles per hour versus not. So double check what units you're using and then enter in uh, the appropriate units. I'll show you how to do that now. Don't be like me and skip over ground speed. I skipped right over that. Didn't even see it. Should have changed it to knots rather than statute. Have some patience, take your time, and most of all, be accurate. You'll enjoy all these V-speeds displayed on your airspeed tape on the left-hand side of your uh, G5 PFD. For me, the Garmin G5 HSI didn't require any configuring. It was all set up out the box. Now, you get into configuration mode the same way, and I'll just run through some of the settings for those of you interested in what the configuration settings are. For those of you who aren't, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you.